I love hearing from the Asana Solutions community. So this question came from a user who was wondering how we repurpose our podcast content into social media content. So in this video, I'm gonna break it all down for you. Welcome to Asana Solutions, my name is Mark Key and you have landed on the number one channel on YouTube for all things related to Asana, process improvement, and project management. And today I'm gonna to be actually answering a question from a user that asked, how do you repurpose your content for your podcasts? A while ago I talked about the fact that when I have my podcast, we repurpose the content into six to eight pieces of content and they wanted to see how we did that. So without much more further ado, let's jump on in so we can see the, the process and how the cake is made. Cake is made. Let's go with it. So this question was about how we repurpose our podcast to create content. In another video, I said that we take our podcast content and we repurpose it into, you know, four to six different pieces of content, or it might've been six to eight, so I can't remember. But um, you've seen this project before. I've shown you the workflow in another video. I'll link it up here. Um, if you wanna go check that one out, cool. But anything that we do, um, from the podcast, we start in Riverside. And so this is where um, our podcast content starts. And if you use Riverside, you know anything about it, then you know how this works. So this makes it really easy to bring the content down. Um, this was an example. This makes it really easy to bring the content down. You have it here. It, it starts here. Sorry, Paul. <laughs> it starts here. And then um, from here, we can either export little clips right from Riverside, which I sometimes do if I have time right after a podcast. But in most cases, I'm just um, moving it from on deck to files ready. And then my team is taking care of all the post-production. So this is where everything starts. Once we get into post-production, I'll just open one of these up real quickly so you can see what happens. I have all my questions here typically. And as the episode moves through the different sections, um, there are different dependencies and people get triggered through the rules. And so um, these subtasks are added. So as these are added, one of the things here is to edit and create you know, six video snippets. And then we're gonna upload those snippets to the guest name promo pack folder, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and then what else are we doing? After, after this stage, after QC is done, then we're uploading to YouTube and Instagram and, and TikTok and, you know, whatever else um, we wanna do for that day. So that's typically where it starts. So this is what the final deliverable looks like. This is our guest promo pack. We share this guest with um, each um, guest that comes on the podcast and we have three images here so we have this one right here it's the um, widescreen we have the one for stories and then i think this is square yeah there we go so this folder is shared with the guests so that they can put it on their on their channels and then you can see right here there's mm1 mm2 that's marquee murray one and two so these are for me to post right these are from my vantage point where like i'm speaking i'm sharing something so i'll put these on on tiktok or, or whatever it may be and then the guest their initials this is simon severino um, they get four pieces of content that they can use in addition to the images. So they get four and three images. They get seven pieces of content every single time from different points in the episode where, again, they are talking, the spotlight is on them. So it's encouraging them to share it with their audience and show their thought leadership. From there, um, we take the podcast and we transcribe it. So what was the podcast about? Right. It's not a straight transcription. It's, you know, this one was about doubling your revenue with business process optimization. So then um, Tasby, our content specialist, comes in here and it's already been posted to Libsyn. We have it embedded in the, the page here. We have the write up on what the podcast looks like so we can share this as a blog, which is also helpful for people for people to read and understand, you know, what is um, revenue business process optimization. What does that look like in the business? And they can hear or read in this case, you know, Simon's words and understand where our conversation was going. So we already have, you know, um, the seven that the guest is getting, the two that I'm using. We have a blog as well. And then we're sharing out those pieces of content. So this is in systems we trust. This is what uh, TikTok looks like. 
And so this one is fairly new. I wanted to start this just to see what we could do with it. So we're taking those snippets, those clips from Riverside or that Patrick, our editor, has you know put together and we're putting them here on TikTok. So if you wanna get bite-sized snippets and hear what's going on in the podcast, um, this is a great place to come. And then In Systems We Trust is our Instagram as well. And so we usually take the square images, we're putting them up here, we're taking excerpts from the podcast and sharing them as graphic content. Um, just basically anything that could come up. We're taking you know quotes from the blogs and repurposing them here as well and talking about different themes as they come up. So just a quick one for you of how to repurpose content. Um, this is one of my favorite things to do in, in this space is create content for people. That's why I love doing the podcast. That's why I love doing this YouTube channel. I love chatting with people and I love solving real problems. So if you got value from this, so if you have any other questions as to how you can repurpose content and do that with Asana workflows, um, I'll give you a little sneak peek behind the scenes here. Um, let me know, you can pause and take a look and see what's all involved in this workflow, but um, would love to answer your questions if you have any better ways of doing this or if you're repurposing any other way, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Bye for now.